Hey guys, this is Sergey from PC Nitrous, and today I'll show you how to mount the Rally DX3 LED driving lights on your Subaru Impreza bumper. So here it is, the Rally DX3 LED driving light. It's hard to believe that a light as small as this can put out more lumens than HIDs, but it's true. Our high surface area heatsink design paired with our active temperature monitoring technology can make that happen. And with a 20 degree mid-range spot beam, you can drive with great confidence knowing that your entire driving path will be illuminated. So let's go ahead and get started on putting these on our bumper. All right, so this is what comes with the kit. Uh, we have a lot of hardware here. We have two mounting brackets. We have the light, and you'll also need uh, three tools to uh, mount the mounting bracket onto the back of the light. We have a screwdriver, a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench, and a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet. So the first step here is to flip the light upside down. You'll see two holes on the back of it, and that will mate to this small bracket here, also with two holes. You're gonna grab the small black screws, put a locking washer on it, Screw in one of the screws all the way. Grab the other one. Same thing. Now, whenever you're torquing this down, you want to make sure that you're pushing the bracket all the way down or all the way up. This is to make sure that it's not lopsided, you know, one side's up, one side's down. It just helps alignment become much easier whenever you put it on the vehicle. Alright, so next step is to grab the other bracket, you want to take this carriage bolt and you want to use this fairly large washer that goes around this square base here and you want to run that through this bracket here, grab the light again, you want to grab this big spacer here, this will go between this small bracket and this larger bracket will go outside of the smaller bracket. So you're gonna grab this bolt here and run it through all of them. Whoops. All right, so the bolt ran through all of the brackets. Bolts look like that. So this is your vertical adjustment. Now you want to take another locking washer here, right there, get a nut. You don't want to tighten this all the way. There you go. So now you have a vertical adjustment and then you can adjust the, the vertical angle and tighten it whenever you're ready. So that's all you really need to get started uh, on the back of the light. Now for the rest of the hardware here, you have two rubber washers here. Now this is if you want to mount the light onto a kind of a soft surface, you know, a painted surface, you don't want to ruin the finish. So you would, what you would do is put the washer on there and then whenever you go and tighten it up with your your other washer and your and your nut and your locking locking washer you don't ruin your finish of your paint or whatever you're mounting to and now we have we have a large washer we have a small washer generally depends on where you're mounting it on and you also have these other spacers as well so if you want to mount it a little bit higher up a little bit lower you have two extra spacers here so you can kind of tune it to your to your vehicle however you would like. What's amazing about this bumper is there's already square holes drilled into this little piece here. So I'm feeling around the front here and there's there's plenty of spare square holes around here. Now that's perfect because we can just take the larger washer and it will cover that entire square hole. So now that we have the, the light with the mounting bracket on it, all we have to do is make sure the bolt is facing straight up. You 
go through this square hole back here. Put the washer on. Put the locking washer on as well, on top of that. And then you just thread the hole on top. So now we can do the vertical adjustment. You might want to do this at night so you can really see the direction of the light. So go ahead and take your 10 millimeter open-ended wrench and your 10 millimeter socket on your ratchet and go ahead and tighten them up. Now that you're done mounting the lights, you can connect them with a wiring harness. This is the wiring harness that's included with the kit. You have a waterproof relay, two waterproof connectors, and a fuse. I'll give you a closer look. So here's the waterproof relay. You have your fuse. And your two waterproof connectors. One is longer than the other. That's because if you have a light on one side and you have a light on the other side, and your battery's on just one side of the vehicle, you have a wire that reaches all the way to the other light. So here's the waterproof connector for the light. It's an H8, H9, H11 universal connector. And you also have two grounds that you must connect to the chassis of your vehicle. You also have a connector for the battery, the positive battery terminal. You also have a signal wire. Now you can tap this into a switch that's included with the harness, or you can tap this into your high beams or any other auxiliary source. Now that you have your lights mounted and wired, you can go ahead and turn them on. And there you have it, a simple and quick installation of the Rally DX3 LED driving lights on the existing mounting holes of your Subaru Impressa's bumper. And even if your vehicle does not have any, it's simple to drill your own. Now go out there and drive with confidence. Thank you for watching.